okay welcome back students so today we are going to learn something really interesting and that is about the templates what exactly is templates and why do we require it now students uh, templates are kind of ready-made documents for you okay so what you uh, what you need to do is like you know when we have a templates when you use a templates so there are many things that will be readily available to you and you have to uh, you do not have to do a lot of things while preparing the document because a lot of formatting and style is readily available to you. So now I'm going to show you how you can use templates. The first thing that I'm going to show you that how you can create a predefined template. I mean, how to use a predefined template. And then I'm going to show you how you can, you know, create your own templates. So we will quickly go through it and uh, first i'm going to show you how you can use a predefined template so for that you have to click on file and uh, then you have to click on templates okay and there is an option called as open template okay rather than using that this what you can do is uh, click on file then uh, go to templates and go to manage templates okay that is a better option and uh, this particular window will appear in front of you okay and then what you have to do is you have to there are so many categories are available out here okay go for all categories and then you can find these documents that are available to you okay so now there is a you know document that is uh, if you want to prepare a document for a business letter so this template you can choose okay if you really want to go for the business card so you, this is a template that you can choose so there are so many templates are available for example i will go for something that is like uh, the resume right so in the future you're going to go for you know when you grow up and you're going to go for your jobs so you need to prepare the resume so in that case what you have to do is you have to you know you can use a template so this is a resume template so i click on this and click on open so the moment i click on open on this particular resume on this particular template so you can see that this is a template a format which is readily available to you now you can type in your name out here then your address your phone numbers so the structure is basically readily available to you okay you can also make changes in this styles for example this is gray but i do not want this as gray so i'll go ahead and make it as black okay so you can make your changes absolutely not a problem so you can see children that this is a resume template which is readily available to you you can use it so it is going to save a lot of time right and that's the main purpose of a template that it saves a lot of time so this is a template and now i'm going to show you how you can create your own templates okay so for creating your own templates what you need to do is okay let me just go to okay a new document i'll take a new document and uh, i'll just remove this and i will tell you why it came okay so i'm going to have a title and i will say this as my title now every time i choose a document okay i open a new document i want that the heading that is my title or whatever title you have it should be there every time i take a new document so how you're going to do that is you need to click on file okay you just typed your title then you clicked on file you have to click on file then you have to go to templates and then you have to choose the option that save as template okay and uh, these are the categories these are the same categories that i showed you when that window appeared so you choose my templates category give a name that my template so the category is my template and name of my template is also my template okay that's the name of the template click on save 
now i've saved the uh, template and one thing that i forgot to do is again you can set that as default okay so go to file then go to templates go to manage templates and now when you can see that all categories click over here take my templates category and now you can see that my template right click onto that and set as default okay so this now has a default template set default template so which means that whenever i open a new document this particular template is going to get uh, you know applied basically so i will say cancel out here and now i click on file click on a new document and you can see that immediately that my title that particular template is immediately applied to the new document so this is how you can create your own template it's a very very easy process so that is all that we have in this particular session children and then we have something like you know how to uh, create table of contents okay so i'm going to show you how to create a table of contents so that is uh, one more part that we have and okay let me just have this as title as title okay and uh, now what is a table of contents okay now a table of contents is for example you have typed your entire book now if you talk about a book so any book that book is going to have a table of content which is an index page normally that we talk about okay so index page how you can create an index page now that is a very tedious job if you really want to type everything into it and format it basically so what you can do is for example i have this as uh, my title i will make it as my book okay my book and uh, then what i'm going to do is okay i'm going to click over here and take that is uh, heading one and the heading one is chapter one okay that's my first chapter then i'm going to go to styles and take heading two heading two will be uh, my topic okay or the name of the chapter so i will say i'll take a chapter like uh, introduction okay introduction to python okay that's the okay this was heading one and this is heading two okay you can see over here heading two and uh, okay let me just keep it as it is and then i type my chapter over here okay whatever the chapter the content of that particular topic okay and now i'll copy this and now when i'm over with my chapter one i will start a chapter two so i will prepare a document of this kind of right and over here i will say data types in python now this is just a name of my chapter okay so chapter one and chapter two now what happens is i want that there should be a table of content just before all the chapter starts just like a book right so now when we open a book there is a table of content so what i'm going to do is i want at the beginning that there should be a table of content now carefully you need to watch this you have to click on insert okay then you have to go to table of content index and then you have to choose table of contents okay again i'm going to show you click on insert table of contents and the table of contents you have to choose again this subcategory then this window will appear do not do any kind of modification now as per the syllabus we don't have really to uh, dive deep into this just click ok the moment you click ok you can see a table of content has automatically got generated in front of you so this is chapter one and you can see introduction to python and then there was chapter two data types in python okay so this is how you can do it uh, now if i'll just go back and now this was heading two now inside this heading i will give something like heading three and i will say why python okay that is a heading three please remember that okay so why python something of that sort and over here also i will give a category 
that is of heading three so these are actually different levels that we are working on this is heading one this is heading two this is heading three and so on so i'll give a third heading and over here i will say what are data types okay and um, what are data types so now again i will come over here okay just click where you want your table of content so before that just do not if uh, where the cursor is placed the table of contents is going to get inserted over that so be very careful come up at the top of the document click at the place that you want the table of content and then go to insert and then table of contents and choose it the window will appear click ok and now you can see that the categories you know you can see that hierarchy this was the chapter one okay then the introduction to python so chapter one was heading one this was heading two and this was heading three so it went inside that so you can see that hierarchy gets set automatically and uh, this is all about children the table of contents now i'm going to uh, show you some practical uh, ways of implementing this in my next class so i'm going to keep it short for today children but in the next class i'm going to show you the practically how we can use this and uh, the first thing that i showed you was about templates and the second thing that i showed you about how to create the table of contents so you can see how we created the table of contents it's pretty simple just you know to understand few basic things now about the notes children yes i told you that i'm going to give you the notes there was a delay into that but i'm uploading my uh, contents very soon you can refer the book that i have uh, that i suggested you to and uh, if you really want to go for the book you can go for the book otherwise uh, uh, CBSC has provided a lot of contents and I'm going to provide you my contents as well. Just stay tuned for that because I'm doing a lot of formatting and processing work as well. So I'm going to make that contents available to you soon. So you can prepare for your exams from my contents also. So that is all for today, children. And uh, then we're going to meet on Saturday. I will show you some practical implementations about how to use this table of contents. And then we are going to start with the LibreOffice Calc, which is very, very interesting topic that uh, we need to uh, we need to learn actually. Very interesting. Okay, so stay tuned for that. I'm signing off for today, and we will meet on Friday, not Saturday, Friday. Bye for now.